not weak, you're weak. All right, let me know in the chat below if you can see me hear how this sounds. I see some people joined, and then I asked to a comment, and I got a little star-like thingo. We got a caller, and caller, let me know in the chat box below where you're calling from. God love technology. Oh, look at that. There's a little thing on the cup. Lets you know if it's cold or not outside. Jen, hello. Can you give me a like or a comment? I want to make sure the chat's working. I just restarted this. Rah, 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 rah. Hey, Jen, was that you with the thumbs up? Can you do two in a row for me? We're going to pretend there's like Morse code or something. You're live. I... <laughs> Why, thank you. I, I know I'm live, but now the chat seems to be working. Can you do two for me, like Morse code, like short, short, long? There we go. Dot, dot, long. Hey. Short, short. It's three dots. Is that a long one? Okay, we're going to... This seems to be working great. Good evening and welcome. I see there's more and more people joining. Jen, thank you for amusing me. <laughs> Morris code. Um, good, good, good. So I have like 15, 20 minutes before my salon appointment, get my hair did with Nora. Happy Wednesdays and uh, we'll announce that. But I wanted to share with you the seven S's. It's been a while. Attention, authority, associate, advise, actuate, automate, and advertise. So let me know in the chat below where you're, shut up, where you're calling from and what line of business you're in and do you chase your clients or do they chase you? Shut up. Eh. It rhymes. It's an alliteration. Yes, that was, but holy smokes. woman's parking next to me and, well, she needs to take driver's ed class. Freaky. Look at this crap. Don't park close to people, especially when they're sitting in the vehicle. Actualize and advertise. Say it. Actuate, actualize, and advertise. <sighs> attention, authority, advise. No, attention, authority, associate, advise, actuate, automate, and advertise. Actualize, advertise. Yes. So, Jen, why don't you uh, type in and let everyone know uh, where you're calling from and what you're working on. And I need one other person to put in the chat where you're calling from and what line of business you're in. That's what it was. Sorry, I had the wrong word. Advise. Yes, the seven A's of the EA reconnaissance system. Expert authority effect. And I want to help you create it in your business because once I created it in mine, it was, it's been awesome the last four years. Prior to that, it has been... A grind, an uphill battle, and you should work hard, but you should work smart and, you know, leverage yourself, systematize, create authority, and, you know, you already have it. That's the cool thing. So, Indiana, right now I'm working on some emails for a client, but in general I just got back from Dallas and shot a bunch of videos for my new leadership. Danny Z, how's it going? Jen, that is awesome. Where can we find the videos? I'd like to check them out. Mm 
No, Facebook, you're weak. You're weak. My connection is strong. Strong like bull. All right, so I'm gonna jump into and you can play along. And if not, that's cool too because I have vest experience talking to myself and I'm totally fine with that. So let me know in the chat below. I'm gonna be saying this about every three to five minutes. Put your name in the chat below. Let me know where you're calling from and what line of business you're in and do you chase your clients or do they chase you? They aren't up here. I just got back last night and we'll be editing them this week. All right, well, we'll put, let's make it happen, Captain. Put a link in there. I wanna check them out and I wanna help promote you and everyone else can check them out too. Feel free. Um, so step one is attention. What are ways that you use to get attention with your clients? Feel free to put it in the chat below. And, ooh, Facebook Live, Fast Pitch Fit. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I'd love to check that out. Thank you for sharing that. So Jen, great example. What, what is a way you use to get attention? Step one. So if you just joined me, we're covering the seven S's of the expert authority effect. And this is a system I created that I help train people to make their lives easier. You can check it out at expertauthorityeffect.com. And the first step is attention. You need to get people's attention. So we got Jen here and D Danny Z saying, I use live streams. Well, I'm gonna let you in a little secret. I'm using one too. So I have an appointment uh, in 15 minutes and I came from an appointment, which was very awesome. And I was like, you know, one of the things I trained my clients with is how can you, what's the highest and best use of your time? What can you do? You might say, oh, I wanna kill an hour. Why on God's green earth would you wanna kill it? What, time is your most precious asset and how are you utilizing it? I wanna kill it? No, I wanna leverage it. What can I do now for 10 or 15 minutes uh, you know, I, I share with people a concept I call block 15 time. You have 96 opportunities per day, per day, 168 hours a week, 96 opportunities to a day to make your dreams happen. And what do most people do? They waste it. They sit away. And it's unfortunate because you can go on here and in the next... 15, 20 minutes, again, a block 15 time, I can share with you how to change your business and revolutionize your life and make your life better from here on out, or I could stare at the wall. And I'm choosing to share it with you because I wanna help you grow and make your life easier, because that's what I do. And it's a lot of fun. And uh, I have another book launch coming up the end of May for a client, uh, Barb in New York, who I'm super excited for. and. You know, their life is better off because of it. It's not just a small thing like, oh, you know, I rang you out at, you know, paying for something. And we need people to do that. But when you can give someone a transformation, why wouldn't you as often as you can? So step one is attention. So uh, we have ads, live, Facebook video, cool photos edited of my fans, blog posts, live, local events. Fantastic. And Jen is a rock star. If you haven't checked her out already, uh, look in the comment stream below. She has facebook.com forward slash fast pitch fit. And she's a mental performance coach. And she's up to big things and I'm excited for her. So the first step is attention. And a lot of companies do this. They get your attention by doing whatever. And that's all well and good. But like the animal commercials you see all the time, do they keep your attention? You may have the attention, but can you keep it? You know, and a quote I came up with when I wrote my first book, Video Marketing for Business Owners, is most people are trying to get your attention. Instead of getting your customers to, instead of trying to force your customers to look at you, why not be so captivating they can't look away? Look at what the movie industry has done and in uh, technology industry, look at what Apple has done. And Samsung, they've captured your attention, but got to a point where they've also never lost it. That's impressive. That should be the goal, not I want to get someone's attention, move them from zero to they're paying attention. You want to 
you know, having their attention is the bare minimum. Don't even set your mind that you have to get there. That's the goal. No, the starting point is you have their attention and you want to bring them up here where they're like raving fans that they'll sleep outside for four days just to hear your hang on your next word. That's the goal. And how do you create that? You have to be compelling. So get their attention. Now, this goes into the second point, authority. <laughs> Respect my authority. <laughs> But for real, why should someone listen to you? I use the example of Oprah because she's awesome and she's uh, humanitarian and philanthropic and she's done a lot of good and she's also entertaining. She has a good heart and she knows how to get people's attention and keep it. You know, people turned her down and she was like, oh, okay. And most people are like, well, I got turned down. She's like, well, if you won't put me on your new, if you won't put me on your TV network, I'll make my own. You don't want me in your magazine? I'll make my own. And what has she done? She's captured the hearts and minds of millions of people around the world and she deserves every penny of the billions she's created because she's created tens and hundreds of billions in value above and beyond. And she has the authority positioning. She could walk into any room in America at any point in time and I would venture to say, don't quote me, but I think anyone in their right mind would stop and listen to what she has to say because it's so valuable. She has the authority, so people listen. You can keep their attention way easier. The third step is to associate. You have to connect with them. <laughs> yes, Jen, respect my authority. Yes, I did just go there. Uh, feel free to put it in the comments below if you know what that reference is from. So the third step is to associate. You need to connect with your viewers and you have to get their attention and keep it and you do that by creating expert authority positioning. But you also have to connect with them and learn their problems. You know, she could go into any room and people would listen because of what she knows. But the quote of, it's not how much you know, but how much you care. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Uh, if someone wants to look that up for me and put it in the comments, uh, I don't know who the author is and I'm doing a live stream, but it's one of my favorite quotes because it's true. No one cares what you know until you know, until they know you care. You have to connect on a relational level and start building that relationship. A lot of people think the relationship starts with right after you close the sale and now you're, no, it creates the second the second you come in contact with them the first impression and it continues on it just takes shape in different ways and forms so you have to associate now the fourth step is advise and this is again where the expert authority positioning comes into play have you ever given someone advice and they either didn't listen or weren't receptive or you thought they were receptive and maybe they said I'm receptive in a roundabout way but then you come to find out you know through a third party mutual friend family whatever that they were really like oh my gosh they he or she was just talking my ear off this and that thinking da 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 they may have said to your face I'm interested but did they mean it See, what I found is a lot of people are so insecure with themselves, they don't even have the courage to tell you no. No. No, that does not work for me. I'm not interested. They'll go, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, let's do that. Let's take the meeting. You know, yeah, let, uh, let's get coffee. Why? You might as well say, let's get potato sticks or a piece of lettuce. It's about as arbitrary as that. They, they don't have the courage to say no, so what happens is they just commit to everyone and everything, never do anything for themselves, and really don't provide any value for the person interested, and waste their time. So who wins? No one. There we go. Attention authority. Keep attention. South Park. <laughs> yes, yeah, South Park is part of the process, for sure. Um, associate, connect. Theodore Roosevelt, quote, thank you. Theodore Roosevelt. People don't know care how much you know until they know how much you care. Thank you, Jen. <sighs> advice. You have to give them advice. So let me know in the chat below, have you ever given advice thinking you're helping, even if they told you, 
yeah, that sounds good, and then come to find out they actually didn't care. Let's go back to Oprah in step two, authority. Do you think if she gives someone advice, they're questioning it? Probably not. Advise. Step four. This is a fun one. This is a real fun one. Actuate. Get them to incite and move towards an action. To take effort. To reach their goal that's in their best interest. If you can get their attention and you have the expert authority positioning, and I know a lot of people like this, I've sat through their presentation, they got your attention. They know what they're talking about. They are the expert in authority. Extremely knowledgeable. Extremely knowledgeable. Maybe they even did connect on a little bit of a level. And they gave good advice. But now they say, all right, I want to extend my hand and say, I want to help you create this. But they failed to get them to take action. Implement. What is the freaking point? You get them to step four and you can't get them to step five to move and take action. Who wins? Again, I'm not looking for a win-win scenario. I'm looking for a win-win-win. It's in your best interest and your customers and mine. I help you, you help your customers, because if I benefit and you benefit, shame on us for not caring more, personally. So anyone tells you they want a win-win scenario, I'd see if they actually care about their clients and customers, because some people don't, and it's uh, an atrocity. I do not like it one bit. You should ab absolutely be focused around your clients and customers, because they're the reason you're in business and get the benefits and freedoms you do. So I like to create win-win-win scenarios. I win, you win, and your clients win, customers, prospects. Yes, take a step. Every live streamer needs a wing person. Theodore Roosevelt advise. Thank you, Jen. Yes, actuate five. And the last two steps that are even more fun, once you get all of these lined up like a, a key combination lock, now you can automate this. You can set up systems that go to work for you so you don't have to bang your head against the wall. So the first four steps and the fifth to get people to take action, you can really do manually. And a lot of people, that's all they ever do. And you can. But I never set out to build a business where I have to work 22 hours a day for 70 years. That's a job. Whole reason you start a business, so you don't have to. So you can create lifestyle. And Catherine, you're awesome. Welcome. How are you doing, my dear? I never started my business to work till I'm 75 and just have enough to scrape by. I'm willing to work hard for the short term so I can spend time with family and friends in the long term. So why wouldn't you automate it? It's 2016. You can pretty much automate anything. And I still see a lot of people doing manual processes and just continuing to do the things the way they've done forever. And you know what? Good for them for finding something that works. And maybe they got through steps one through four haphazardly or intentionally. But don't be afraid to automate it and use software and technology. And you know what? Yeah, you might get burned. It might not work out. But you know what? You can try again. You have the rest of your life. At some point, it's going to click. I'd recommend getting a coach, taking a training, learning and growing your intelligence so you don't make as many mistakes. But it's not like, you know, just hit the reset button. You get another do-over. It doesn't mean to be perfect, but, you know, take imperfect action. And I did that with expertauthorityeffect.com. There's a new presentation on it, and there's going to be an even newer, newer presentation on it. But I got the ball rolling and I didn't think about it for six months. So, automate it. In step seven, ha <laughs> ha, advertise. So, when I get off here in a few minutes and not be live, and I'm in the salon, or I'm sleeping, or I'm having a yummy, yummy, yum, yum, and I'm not even online for three hours, or a day, or three days, or take a week off, or however long you want, you can still be driving traffic and benefiting people because you've created assets that work for you. 
It's not some cutesy thing you put up as a one-time deal. Why not leverage that sucker? That's with the automation, like with a website, with a Facebook Live. Maybe you take this and say, hey, I did this live cast yesterday. It was so incredibly freaking valuable. I want to make it available to you because I know you didn't get a chance to see it. Which is, you know, something you can do. And that's why you use video because it's repurposable. You can take this training, transcribe it, and now you have a PDF, maybe a full book. You can also take it and extract the audio and send out the MP3. It's limitless what you can do and repurpose it. Why wouldn't you? I mean, if you like making your life more difficult, have fun at it. That's not what I teach. You know, expertauthorityeffect.com is about making your life easier, not harder. So in closing, let me know, do you chase your clients or do they chase you and which one would you prefer? And I gotta go in like a minute and a half. I'm already at the salon, so you'll see another video after this, but I wanted to take my time and share it with you to make your life better off instead of just looking at the beautiful trees that are right there. So let me know what you got out of this and would you rather have clients chase you or do you want to keep chasing them? That was a really big mental shift for me actually when I started thinking about my intellectual property more like physical property, i.e. real estate. Yes, Jen, thank you for saying that because that's exactly what it is. It's an asset. It's not just some cutesy thing. And that was something I did also was think about all the stuff I've created over the years. And it was like, oh, I did this, 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 this. And I could rattle it off, but I wasn't repurposing it. I wasn't advertising to it. The second I started setting up funnels that were strategic. And yes, it takes a little bit more effort. So it might be the equivalent of doing five or 10 meetings in real life. But you know what? You can burn through that in a couple of days or a week or a month. What's the alternative? Do it the same way for 10, 20, 30, 40 years? That's insanity. That's why people get overwhelmed and don't reach the profits they want and don't get to their potential because they're spending all the time doing instead of enjoying. It's just constant, it's constant creation mode. It's insanity. Wouldn't you rather be in the hot tub or on a boat? One more question. Um, I gotta bounce. One more and I'm out of here in 30 seconds. Gotta walk in. All right, well, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to send them to askmarionow.com. I'd love to answer them on the next live cast. And if you'd like to get further information and dive deeper into than I could on the live cast, check out expertauthorityeffect.com. And there's even more information that I didn't even have a chance to get into. But I hope this benefited you with the seven A's. And feel free to leave your comments below, which, what was your favorite number of the seven A's? God bless.